there's always another enemy. In the 1950s, it was the Russians, us and them locked in a Cold War. But in 1961, it was against our own people. The rock and roll riots hit. Youth culture clashed with authorities over new music and the movement sweeping across the country that came with it. During the civil unrest of those times, many of rock and roll's upcoming stars were killed in violent protests during concerts. The 60s would bring isolation and stagnation. Nixon beat Kennedy for the White House and immediately set out his agenda. Ask not what's in it for you, ask what's in it for the US. We withdrew from the world stage. Vietnam descended into civil war. Russia intervened, but as the scale of the war grew, its popularity fell. The USSR saw peace movements and embraced social change. Back home in the US of A, business and industry grew unfettered. Corporations became more influential than government. Pollution increased rapidly. The climate began to change. And those fat off the profits of oil and industry denied anything was wrong. Pretty soon there were water shortages and famine, and not long after came corruption and rampant inequality. Out of poverty and tension, gang cults formed, becoming more daring and violent as authorities attempted to stop them, making broken cities and the vast big empty their home. In desperation, the Ender B Amendment to the US Constitution opened the door to private policing by sanctioned operatives, which rapidly eclipsed official law enforcement agencies. This is the dog-eat-dog -dog world we live in today, where the gangs and the hired guns and the corporations that pay their bills clash in the scarred wastelands we call home. Welcome to the land of the free. North America, 2025. Hello and welcome to the Bristly Stranger. We have come to look at something new on the channel today. Back when I was just a wee boy, Dark Future was one of Games Workshop's main games. Featuring an alternate history that's only five years away from us right now. So this is something to look forward to I suppose. We play a private policeman, a mercenary, their weapon of choice a hot rod roadster armed to the teeth with machine guns and lasers. Not to mention mines. This is so Mad Max. And little boy me looked at this and was amazed. Now bristly old man me looks at this and thinks this looks fantastic. I'm very much a fan of the Road Warrior and the alternate history of this. Excellent. I don't know whether I'm remembering the miniatures game with rose tinted spectacles but we have packs of men to ride along as well and you build whole gangs, not just one car. But I think we're not going to continue the one I've been doing. We're going to start a new season and see if I can do slightly better than I have in the past. So I haven't really played enough to unlock anything. We are going to play the tutorial, which is Brain in a Jar. It's kind of a basic introduction. I am finding it quite difficult to control and figure out what I'm doing. Some missions I seem to win straight away, others I seem to like fail for no reason or no reason that I could see. This has definitely got an old school vibe to the layout and I will show you the load screen, it's got a really cool retro feel to that. As you can see everything's locked so we've got no choice but to go for brain in the jar. As with all of these roguelikes, the more you play, the more you unlock. So we are going to have little story missions. I'm not going to bother reading through them. They're basically, yeah, we've been in an accident. We are now just a brain in a jar that controls the car. We have to make money. That's fine. That is our main goal. There is also a fuel shortage going on. So as we play, fuel prices will go higher and higher. And then eventually we will get to a fail state where we can't afford fuel anymore, so we just can't continue going. So we have got the objective here. We've got 30,000, we've got to get 250,000. I've not actually made that in the little bit I played around. Do you know what? We've got this white and red car back, not our bristly purple car. I'm going to change that in the custom. We don't really need to buy anything at the minute. We're just going to be doing the first mission, whatever it is. 
So there we go, we can pretty much customize it however the hell we like. We can do the trim as well, we can even do the number plate how we want. Looking pretty good, this is all the default gear obviously. So as we can see, the brain in the jar car is here, this is all the default stuff. We can upgrade the engine, we can upgrade the weapons. We've got front fixed machine guns, they are light machine guns. They fire for a set amount of time and then have a recharge. We have a turret with a light laser. Now the good thing about the turret, it can aim in any direction. We have to kind of lock on first and then again it fires for a certain amount of time and has a cooldown. We have pipe bombs, which are just like mines that we drop behind us. Uh, we can buy more fuel, but we have to do that in the shop. If we come to the shop, we can see that buying fuel costs 38,000 at the minute. Um, I think we don't need that at the minute. Uh, we have also got armor that we can put on. Now, very often we've been hit in the rear. Uh, the weight means we will use more speed or fuel something like that i can't remember uh, we can sell these we can buy upgraded things uh, grenade launchers rocket launchers i think we do only have the free fixed weapon points so we are going to keep what we've got at the minute we can hire operatives as well you can see that we've got blazer hoshi there he's ninety thousand. he accompanies us in his car so that is pretty cool. On the mission screen, we have got tutorial, we have got damages, quota, damages, and we've got intercept. Now there is a skull rating, obviously more skulls means harder. Intercept, I think should be an easier one. Obviously it's gonna lose one fuel there. Uh, it pays us 140,000. Uh, we are sponsored by the state and the gang is rogue operatives. Okay, uh, this should be an easier one out of all of them, I think. I think we only have to kill a single car. There obviously will be a gang protecting them, but that should be fine. So, we have got to find and destroy the gang cult boss. Uh, we are in our car at the minute. We can WASD to skip lanes and speed up and slow down. Uh, we have got an enemy behind us, though. So we can hit space to hit bullet time. Uh, we've actually got two behind us. We can lock on with our turret, and because it is super slow-mo, the turret will take its time. Uh, in fact, it's not worked. There we go. The turret will start turning. We can hit our pipe bombs, though. Execute order. They will come out in slow speed. As you can see, the turret's turning as well. Uh, we can speed up. There we go. Uh, they are quite far behind us. We are going to slow down. We don't really need to face these. We're against the boss. Uh, we can hit three just to drop our pipe bombs. Wow. <laughs> uh, we are going to pause it a second just to target him with our laser again. Execute the orders. Uh, we can also fire the laser as well. We can use the hotkeys. We are dropped some more pipe bombs. Now this, we don't really want to be behind them. <laughs> In fact, we're going to slow down. Uh, we could have done a handbrake. Uh, we can do lots of things like that. We are going to target this fella with our mm, laser thing. Yes, I know what I'm talking about. We are going to speed up again. Uh, if we come, he is just off to one side. So as we're coming across, we can rake him with our machine guns and our laser. There we go. We kind of want to stay behind him if possible. We can just keep hitting him. Yeah, he's gone. Ah, oh, we don't want to hit his corpse. That will slow us down a fair bit. While they're in uh, a different lane, the laser is the best one, so that does follow them. Uh, and of course, we have not really seen the boss yet. We have got a counter until the boss appears. He is ducking and weaving. Yes, excellent. We took him out. 
Uh, any more behind us? No. So we can just speed up, everything recharges. The blue things surrounding our car are our armour. I think we've got another one behind us. No, I'm just being overexcited. Oh, we've got one here though. There we go. Give him a bad day. Um, drop some pipe bombs. Wow! Just in time. Uh, we will target uh, this. No, no. We will target that guy over there because he seems to be the most damaged. Uh, if we use our laser straight away, yeah, they're going to speed up a bit now. Yeah, he's gone. We can tailgate that guy over there. It's a little bit frantic. It's not really the kind of game I'm used to. Yes, uh, we have absolutely spanned the first one. We do do damage by ramming them as well. We have got some more guys turning up. We're going to get in front of these guys and pipe bomb them. Uh, we are taking quite a lot of rear damage ourselves. I think what we're going to do... Oh, missed that. We're going to slow down a bit. So we are going to do a handbrake. Oh, that is core repair. We definitely want to be doing that because we are taking some damage. This is hit the brakes. Uh, we will target this fella here. We will drop some more pipe bombs. Uh, we will try and get behind that one. Ramming him for quite some damage. Uh, we are being hit again though. We nearly got to the boss. Uh, in fact, there he is, so we will target him, execute the orders, uh, we are going to change lane. We can do almost everything in slow motion, uh, so we will get on Lyman, he's got a double. We can just hit everything, concentrate fire, this is why it's much easier fighting against one target. <laughs> uh, we are definitely being tailgated by them. We're nearly gone. Uh, we managed to get the boss with a lucky hit. There's the little loading screen there. Now, in theory, it's a turn-based. We can go into bullet time. It's so frantic, though. It's not the kind of thing I'm used to. We have still got three fuel left, and we've got a load of money now, so we can do upgrades. So our target is to make money. We are kind of halfway there. The price has gone up even more. So do you know what? We're going to buy some while we can. That is... Took a big hit. Uh, I would like to have some armor on the rear. That is definitely the place where we seem weakest. Uh, I don't think it helped that we were going so far ahead. Money has gone to zero. So we're almost back where we started. We are going to do another mission though. So we've got a few different ones. We've got a blockade run. Uh, damages, that is just cause lots of damage. The escort, that is a nice one to do. The escort car does attack. It allows us to keep pace with them. Obviously, the mission has failed if we die or the escort dies. So a little bit harder in that case. It kind of pays the same as the other one. If we can get through two missions without having to buy anything, we will hit our making money progress. So we have got to escort the friendly vehicle. We have got a distance bar. We've got the car just there. It's a small car. It's a little bit armored. What we can do in the um, slowdown bullet time, we can, oh, we can actually control it, uh, form up, execute orders. There we go. Uh, that means we will travel at the same speed uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> we did a hard break there. Um, I think we can match the speed. Yes, there we go. Execute order. Now we should keep track of them. You know what? 
I don't really like how far behind we are. Let's catch up a little. There are some enemy cars. Uh, of course, we don't want to be ramming our own car either. Now, they are ahead. So, uh, let's speed up. Uh, we will get behind. We can't seem to shoot. Oh, we are controlling the escort car, that's why. Uh, we will hit the brakes then. Uh, we will go back to the brake. We will shoot that one. We will lock. In fact, we'll shoot everything at that one. There we go. Sideswipe that one. We are going to slow down a bit. <laughs> but yep, we took him out. Um, we will pause and get the laser back on this guy. Uh, there we go. Now the escort car is getting away from us. Uh, I don't think this guy is going to last much longer. No, we do need to speed up though. Ah, we're stuck on him. <laughs> um, yeah, we are not getting off this car. There we go. We are top speed now. Escort. Uh, slow right down. Wah, almost avoided that one. The brain, where are you? Uh, we have got to speed up because he is matching our speed. We'll do a little silliness. You are going max speed there. Right, the brain. After that silliness, we will execute all of those orders. Uh, we won't use our bombs, because obviously the escort car, uh, which we do need to match the speed of that one. Uh, I think I targeted the wrong car there, but you know, that's fine. Um, we actually killed that one. Okay, we'll slow down a bit. There we go. And he's rammed us. Um, okay, thanks buddy. Uh, right, escort. Match speed on us. Thank you very much. Brain. Speed up a little bit. Now, we'll keep an eye out. We're okay on the distance. We've got another guy ahead of us, though. And he is kind of in the way a little. We will uh, drop the speed of the escort back to the brain. Speed up. We will get in front. Oh, yes. Uh, we can hit everything. Forced him off the road case we will hit this one with our turret. It has got to recharge. Uh, guns, there we go. Escort, what are you doing? Uh, you are lagging behind. Okay, we'll execute a break there. Uh, slow down a bit more. Okay, the escort. Oh, it's getting a little bit left behind, but we've kind of caught it okay. Matching the speed, that is definitely something we want to be doing. Keep them together. There we go. Now, as we're getting closer to these, we want to be targeting them. Can we target him yet? No, he's out of range, I think. Yes. Uh, we kind of missed with everything there. We haven't got much further to go though. Yes, excellent. Of course, four enemies on the board, but that doesn't matter. So I don't overly like the way the missions abruptly end. I mean, on our first mission, it definitely helped us because we were about to die. But that's fine. This one has paid off. Just as we're about to hit that combat, we complete the mission and it was all over. That does seem a little bit ridiculous. I'm not a fan at all of 
We have got a big chunk of money though, so we will move on. I am going to try not to buy anything this time, because if we can find a contract that pays just about the same, we will complete our goal. So the price in the shop, fuel is still the same. Uh, we've got explosive damage. Increase the damage dealt by equipped explosives. Ah, now this is like a, a little upgrade slot. That would mean our rear damage would be lots better. And we've also got increase the armor strength on the rear of the car. This does add weight. Um, rocket launcher. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, but I think we will keep what we've got. One more mission should complete our objective. So we have got a blockade one. We have got data heist. Data heist is a weird one. We have these trucks, we have to keep pace with them. In fact, I'm not going to describe it. Let's do that one. Uh, it pays really well. In fact, if we complete this one, we are going to complete our goal. So, with the data heist, we have got to intercept the robo truck, which is up ahead of us. We can see it on the little marker there. They will be defended. We have got a 10 minute timer. Uh, well, we've also got some bad guys. We are going to try and focus on this one. There we go. I oh, mind us. Uh, the other one will drop some mines as well. Uh, we don't really care about him, so we're just going to speed up. As soon as our mines are ready, we'll drop some more of them. Uh, we will get the turret on this one. As soon as we're around the corner, we'll fire our machine guns. Wow. Uh, okay, that guy hit us with some mines. Let's drop our own. Now, of course, these guys, they don't matter at all. They make it harder to complete our mission. But we have to get the truck. Now, we've got even more ahead of us. Okay. Uh, we'll target that one with our laser. Uh, we've targeted all of them, really. There we go. We've either outrun them or hit them with our laser and killed them. I think this is the truck up ahead. Uh, if it is, this is where things get a little bit trickier. So, uh, I would say that is the truck. We have got to get within range. Uh, we have also got a whole swarm of them behind us. Now we can shoot that one with our laser. There we go. We have got to stay within a certain distance of these guys though. Uh, do you know what? We're going to target this one. He is the weakest. Um, we do have to stay next to it. Uh, unfortunately, we are now lasering the truck. Execute orders there. There we go. Uh, we, oh, we can do it from behind. So if, as long as we stay here, we are going to be safely hacking the truck. Now the truck itself has, oh, no, drops and stuff on us. Oh, okay, mission failed. So we just took too much damage. Uh, recovery has cost us nothing. Uh, maybe we accidentally destroyed the truck. We did hit it a few times. Okay, that's a fail. So we are going to try another one. We've got another data heist. They're so tricky. Uh, we've got a blockade run. They are also quite tricky. Uh, we'll have a go though. It does seem to be an easy one. It's going to pay us enough to complete our goal. Let's have a look. So on this one, we have just got to get through so many blockades. Uh, eight. Okay, we've got a time limit as well. I think with the last one, with the truck, we um, we just 
damaged the truck too much and blew it up. We were hitting it quite a bit. The enemy, they were also doing quite a lot of damage. Yeah, that must be a kill. Wow. I think we just took it to pieces. Uh, right, the blockade. It is the far lane. Execute orders. Whoa. Yes, we got through that one. That is one. Uh, we have got another car ahead of us, though. Uh, if we're close enough, we will try and lock on. Uh, don't know whether we did or didn't. No, we didn't. There we go. Uh, we have got another blockade coming up, though. I think... No, we haven't. Okay. Uh, we can give him a very bad day. These guys, we want to be just hitting them as much as possible. Uh, I think it's this lane. Hopefully we can just outrun them. Uh, yeah, we did clear it. Lovely. That'll give us time to recharge. Uh, we're not looking too bad. Do you know what we can do? Uh, a core repair? Actually, we don't need to do a core repair. Uh, we can target this guy. Uh, we have got a blockade. Uh, it's the far side. Ah, well, just made it. Okay, the guy's behind us. Let's drop some bombs on them. Let's target them with the laser. Excellent. Uh, we're kind of outrunning them. The laser has recharged. Uh, we've got another blockade coming up. Uh, it is the next line over. We have spooned this guy. Quite a lot of damage. Uh, he's trying to laser us. Let's lock our laser back on him, actually. Uh, in fact, we will try and get behind him. Yep, well, uh, we are still okay on damage. We've got a, another barricade. I think we're in the right place. We'll drop some mines. That was a good hit on those. Uh, well, we are taking quite a pounding, though. Uh, we can get the laser on that guy. Uh, drop some more. Excellent. Uh, we will need to target a different guy. There we go. Uh, look where you're going though. Uh, we are in the right barricade. Got another one. Uh, we'll target the closer guy this time. We can drop our pipe bombs as well. Uh, fire the laser. Of course our forward facing guns not so useful on this one. Uh, what's the barricade looking like? No, we're fine. If we can keep outrunning them, well... Ah! We hit that barricade. Okay. That is fine. That means we can fire our machine guns at them. Uh, in fact, we'll fire everything at once. Uh, we have got quite a lot of core damage, so we will execute that. Uh, we are going to lock onto this guy. He seems like he's got a lot of health. Uh, that one's gone. He is kind of in the way. We've got another barricade. Now, being in the pack is not a good idea. We did it. Excellent. Oh my goodness. So that should have met our objective. We are down to two fuel, so we're getting very low now. I don't know what the next part is. I can't really remember. Uh, okay, objective complete. We can just click on that. So we get another message from Quinn. He's a biosurgeon. He is the person that put our brain into the jar and attached it to the car. Okay, uh, the next objective is to purchase a tier one or better item. So, obviously, the way we do that, we get to our shop. Uh, we have got a quick reload. Uh, is that a tier one item? 
I imagine so, because we have completed our objective. So Quinn gives us the thumbs up for our choice. Uh, the quick reload, I think it just reduces all time. Yeah, all time on reloads for weapons. Pretty good. Uh, we can't actually afford any more fuel. We've only got 20k and it's 40k. The next mission, it is recover data from a data heist mission. We've kind of seen them. I love the idea of this game. When I heard that they were doing a dark future game, I was really much in favour of it. It's a little bit too high octane for me. I mean, the whole road warrior battling, yeah, it is high octane. I think they've definitely captured that. But I like to be sitting there with a cuppa, mulling over my options. We can decide what we're doing. In this, we can't really do that. We have got to frantically react to everything that's going on. With the data heist missions, you've got to get to the side, the rear, and then the back. You're not going to be damaging your target. With the escort, you've got to bear in mind that you've got to stay with them. We didn't do too badly on that one, even though we lost our escort for a while. I think this game's good. It has potential, but really not for me, unfortunately. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at Dark Future. I think it's just further proof that I'm a massive Games Workshop fanboy. Unfortunately for me, the miniatures game, it went out of production before I could really afford to be buying it. Or else I'd probably be paying it today. I know Games Workshop have done several similar ideas. They did Gorka Morka with orcs in trucks. And one of the missions on that was very Dark Future. It had a rolling road where you have to keep pace with the enemy and blow them away. Very good fun. Very orky and chaosy. I think if I do get the hang of the controls of this, maybe I would enjoy it more. But it's just too fast-paced. If you did enjoy the video, please do leave those likes. And of course, if you've got anything you want to say, drop that in the comments as well. Always great to hear from you. And if you haven't already, do subscribe. It really does help the channel out. Massive thanks to everybody that has already. But for now, I've been the Bristly Stranger. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully we will see you next time.